The Ryzen 7000 CPUs have a serious problem that we are hearing for the first time. And no, it's not about death due to overvolting, but a completely different problem that may be directly or indirectly related to the 3D CPU's death. Ryzen 7000 CPUs, particularly the 3D ones, are known for poor thermals on the VCash CCD. And due to this issue, some users have recently reported about the death of their CPUs. While almost all cases were related to the 3D chips, the non-3D CPUs also face serious thermal issues. But fortunately, none of them have been reported being burned due to overvoltage. But this new problem is affecting all the CPUs, including the non-3D ones and if AMD doesn't fix it quickly, more and more cases of dying CPUs can follow up. Let's take a look at this new problem but before that, make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any future updates like this. In a recent article published by Hardware Busters, it has been found out that Ryzen 7000 CPUs have a serious power consumption problem. Upon investigation through Powernetics on why some 3D CPUs were burning to death, they found out that these CPUs were having significant spikes in power even in idle state. As the popular case of the Reddit user Speed Rookie implies the same, the burning problem might be related to peak power spikes in the idle state as the user turned on the Expo profile with no CPU overclocking and still had his system dead in the idle. On testing hardware busters found out that Ryzen 7800X 3D was spiking up to 53 watts in idle state, even though the average idle power was only 29 watts. While this might not sound too bad, but the 7950X 3D is suffering the most. It reportedly spikes up to 130 watts of power consumption while remaining at a high 50 watts of average idle power. The fact that its default TDP sits at 120 watts, the idle peak power is way too high to be justified. This case was universal across all the Ryzen 7000 CPUs including the 7600X, 7900 and 7900X where the peak power was almost two times the idle average. However, there is a catch here. When we analyze the CPU usage at the peak idle power, all CPUs were at usage of less than 10%. So the question is, where is all the peak power going? Apparently this might be one of the main causes of some of the 3D CPU's death and needs to be fixed ASAP. Good thing is that AMD has just released their new Agesa BIOS firmware that deals with power tuning and optimizations and now we have to wait and see what changes it does to the idle power consumption. Another thing I want to add here is that if you own a Ryzen 7000 CPU, you don't necessarily need to worry too much because Hardware Buster says that RMA rates of 7000 series are lower than the 5000 CPUs. Still, there is perhaps more stuff to uncover and I'm currently waiting for GN to release their new video in which they claim to have found out the real cause for Ryzen CPUs burning. And if you are waiting to get over the era of RTX 4000 GPUs, then sadly Nvidia is not in a mood to make new graphics cards very soon. According to a new report by Digitimes, Nvidia is reportedly delaying manufacturing of its RTX 5000 cards based on 3 nanometer chips by one year. This means, unlike the original plan, the RTX 5000 GPUs won't be coming in 2024 but will only get into mass production in 2025. The reason stated is the historically low demand for GPUs, which has left Nvidia with a lot of GPUs in its inventory. We have already read reports about Nvidia stopping the production of more 4070 GPUs and as per several reports, it will take quite some time for Nvidia to get a complete transition to 40 series GPUs as the Ampere family is still available with better pricing than before. So till we see Nvidia's new GPUs in 2025, the company will most likely produce more ADA cards like the TI editions for the 4080 and 4090 and currently it is preparing to launch the 4060 and 4050 GPUs the next month. And lastly, Microsoft just released a statement stating that the version 22H2 will be Windows 10 last features update. And after that, Microsoft is no longer going to make more feature updates for this OS. In this blog post, it says that the feature update 22H2 that was released last year will continue receiving monthly security updates up until October 14, 2025 and anyone who is still running this OS should update to Windows 11. Microsoft clearly wants its users to update to Windows 11 as soon as possible because Windows 10 will hit its 10 year lifespan in 2025 and till then the Windows 11 OS will already be matured enough. Even though Windows 11 had a catastrophic launch in 2021, it has made significant improvements since then. And therefore not only Microsoft is pushing its users to update to Windows 11, but it is currently the only OS you can get with the latest PC hardware in both desktop and laptop segments. So this leaves users with no choice than to upgrade to Windows 11 before 2025 just like we had to ditch Windows 7 several years ago. Let me know what do you think about Microsoft pushing Windows upgrade in the comments below. Hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe if you don't want to miss the latest hardware stories in the future. Also make sure to turn on the notifications to get notified every time I upload a video and I will see you in the next one.